yeah I just threw some stuff away and now I'm bringing this to Goodwill to donate some stuff that my wife doesn't want some death pile stuff so let's get into discovery and let's discover what we could flip today and I'm driving to the Goodwill today because I've got some donations and I'm going to use those donations to make me feel better because I'm going to help somebody out hopefully and I'm going to use it for my own business because when I drop, drop off the donations I get a 20% discount of any purchase over $20 so I might be doing some shopping so why don't you come with me to my Goodwill and see what I do Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm uh, clothing. Uh, clothing and then knitting your uh, looms in the one you have in your left hand. Yeah, yes, thank you. Thank you. You too. So here's the 20% off Goodwill. And there's the Goodwill. And it's crowded. There's not one parking space open. So I'm going in. Hey, it's Tom the Two State Reseller. I visited the Goodwill and the Salvation Army over the last two days. I picked up eight items and I spent just over $30 on the eight items. The first item that I got was a pair of floor shine shoes. 100% leather imperial. They're size 10 and a half and um, they were originally 10 but because I had a coupon like I talked previously about I got them for eight. So I took a chance on an eight dollar pair of leather shoes in a pretty cool size and they're in nice condition. I already polished them with my Cordovan shoe polish and I buffed them out with a brush and a rag and they look pretty good. I mean um, they're all ready to go. So hopefully um, I can get as much as some of the comps on eBay. I saw these shoes going from everywhere from 35 up into the 80s. So I'll have to do some more research. Maybe the ones in the 80s were uh, odd sizes, either really small or really large. I'll have to check it out, but I think for $8 I made a good investment. Next thing I got was a Tommy Bahama. Yeah, I know. Everybody's saying, but Tom, you always say in your other videos, stay away from Tommy Bahama. Yes, stay away from Tommy Bahama because they're sold in so many places the market's flooded and you can usually get them for a song for a song and a dance is that a, is that a phrase a song and a dance I don't know maybe I'm dating myself that's a prob that's probably an old phrase right you can get them cheap yo okay so the reason why I got this was you can see the tag okay it's new it's a hundred percent silk and um, it's a rather large size yeah that's a huge size that's like a bedspread side size this is a 4xb and i have a feeling that when i do my measurements the armpit across armpit is going to be in the 30s um, because usually like a large medium large is like between 20 and 22 maybe 23 on some generous 80 cuts garments but this one is huge this one might be approaching three feet. It's big. All right, never pass up Harley Davidson. Never pass up Harley Davidson when it's a snap, and you gotta pick up denim Harley Davidson. Blue denim Harley Davidson, short sleeve shirt, size medium, metal snaps, with Harley Davidson written out on each snap, and Harley Davidson motorcycles patch on the left pocket. Really cool. Highly detailed item. 
this garment $35 plus shipping um, it's got a little wear to it but not wear that you can't um, style this out because it looks like it's used it doesn't it just looked like hey you know somebody owned this shirt for a little bit it's got some uh, fading uh, around the collar but denim that's pretty cool I mean that adds personality to denim another personality item is hey hey look at me I got this cool shirt on this is a Hawaiian shirt uh, really a no-name pineapple juice Hawaiian classic uh, it's rayon and the reason why I bought this was because it cost about two dollars I spent thirty just over thirty dollars on all the items together over the two days um, this is a bright yellow and pink hibiscus flower uh, floral design on a black background those uh, attributes for a Hawaiian shirt usually are favorable when selling on eBay next one is a vintage item and it's got uh, the whole Winnie the Pooh family on the back of the Disney store denim size large shirt and uh, the one thing that kind of gives us away that it's vintage was where it was made and uh, 19 just just over 19 years ago um, the British treaty with Hong Kong uh, was turned over to mainland China and really there is no Hong Kong per se anymore it's all part of China uh, so this was made in Hong Kong meaning this was made prior to the year 2000 okay otherwise it would say made in China it's pretty cool it's all embroidered I did look up some comps while I was in the store uh, paid uh, three dollars yeah three dollars for this the comps were going uh, in the upper 30s and then we have uh, just a Volcom stone type oh, there's the Volcom logo it's a big thing for surfer skaters boarders punk you know Volcom right it's a ribbed long sleeve t-shirt it's in nice condition really no pulls uh, you know God forbid it doesn't sell it would fit me all right and the last two items this was the first item that I saw when I went into the Goodwill yesterday check that out I like whoa that's pretty cool I walked walked over I said that's a turtle type of thing but I uh, was doing a little bit more on the research and it's this is an Ebbets Field 100% wool baseball memorabilia type shirt and uh, reading this it says uh, all of the detail is highly authentic so I guess I'm gonna have to do some research on that but three dollars for a hundred percent wool shirt made in the United States new with tag I'm gonna take a chance on it didn't even look it up I knew that um, I, I, because it's 100% wool and made in the United States and knew a tag, I'd have no problem at least getting my money back. So I took a chance. Um, didn't take a chance on the next, the last item. This uh, this is a Levi's trucker black denim jacket uh, with the metal buttons, uh, red tab. I paid uh, I paid three dollars for this at the Salvation Army. I visited the Goodwill yesterday in the Salvation Army this morning. While I was uh, I was pretty close to the Salvation Army while I was at my post office run, so I ended up buying it. These are all over the place. There there's a lot. It's a good sell through rate. Not a lot of completed without sales if they're priced accordingly. So this uh, this will probably go for in the 30s or 40s size large, and it's a heavy jacket. Okay, so those are the last eight things that I got uh, at the Goodwill yesterday and the Salvation Army this morning. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thanks.